गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टीचर हाउ आर यू आई एम ओके एक्सीलेंट ready for a new week Okay. Hey, where is the rest of the class? Ya se agarraron vacaciones, teacher. Ya, yeah. como ya entregaron plataforma, ya están tranquilos. Okay, did you finish, right, the platform? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Muy bien, nos habíamos quedado al final de la sección 5. En la reading. Estábamos haciendo el reading y estábamos practicando how to read large numbers. Right? Dijimos que íbamos a hacer la lectura nuevamente, ya leyendo los números que nos aparecían ahí. ¿Yes? ¿Yes o no? Yes, Jersey. Ok. Eso let's... Let's do the reading and then we're going to start to work in or to make a review with the final test or the final exam. Okay. Okay, Catherine. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, what do you remember about the large numbers? How to read large numbers? How do we say um, How do we say cien in English? Hundred. Hundred, okay. 
100, correct. Mil. One thousand. One thousand. One thousand. Okay, here is the reading. No habíamos leído ninguna. O sea, usted de, de manera... Habíamos hecho la lectura con el audio, pero ya ustedes no, ¿verdad? Sí, se leyó eso miles. Ok. Muy bien, so we're going to need four volunteers. Okay, one volunteer to read about the first sport. The run, run up. A volunteer to read. Yeah, Edwin. Okay, good evening. It says, climb the stairs, the stairs of the New York City's Empire State Building. In the Empire State Building, run up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,517 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Okay. Thank you, Edwin. Excellent. Okay, Mauricio, continue with the next sport, please, for the next competition. Okay. Good night. Hello. Take, take eight or 10 days to race across America from Irving, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire entire USA in this 2,900 miles is 4,666 kilometers bicycle race. In this race, there are no time outs, time outs for sleep. For eight to 10 days, racers can sleep only about three hours a day. Okay, thank you, excellent. Okay, so the first one, it's a run up. The second one, it's a cycling, a cycling competition. And, Okay, the next. Um, Damaris, do you want to read the next one? Okay, nomás lo puede bajar un poquito para terminar de verlo. Okay. Bye. Voy, voy a tratar. <laughs> okay. Bien. Race. On the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River, in the Dow Down River race, winners complete the twenty-five seven miles. Point seven. Uh huh. Twenty-five. Point seven. Point. Uh, mm -hmm. Point seven miles. Forty-one point 
Five. Uh -huh. eh, kilometers, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Kilometers. Kilo, kilometers. Kilometers. Bueno. In just two hours. This is the longest down river race in the US. One pierce. One person. One boat. O bat, no sé cómo boat? se pronuncia. Boat. boat. Entonces, one boat. Take the challenge. Excellent. Thank you. The only longest. In, is the longest. The longest down river. Okay, thank you, Damaris. And the last competition. Okay, Cecilia, could you help me, please? The last one. Ahorita. Uh, empieza en only. only. Yes, yes, only possible. Okay. Only possible in Alaska. The irritator, irritator is led the race. Race from the town. Uh, and encourage to know over one thousand one hundred fifty miles uh, one thousand eight hundred Eight hundred fifty kilo, kilometers. Throw cold wind and snow. Winners usually finish the course uh, in nine to twelve days. And say cash price. Okay, thank you. Okay, and receive. Receive cash prices in plural, prices. Because price is singular, but prices is plural. Okay, thank you. Now let's answer the questions. Okay. Read and answer. Example, Empire State Building run up. Place, New York City. Distance, 320 meters. Winning times 10 to 11 minutes. Okay, that's the example. It's all the information about the competition. Okay, the first competition, it's a run up, a run up. Then we have number two, race across America. Okay, the place where is the place? Arkansas, Alaska, or from Irving to Savannah? From Irving, California to Savannah. Okay. Distance. What is the distance of the race? 2,900 miles. Yes, 2,900 miles. The winning times. Uh, 
¿En cuánto tiempo la completan la carrera? Eight, eight to, to ten days. Ok. Eight to ten days. Excellent. Ok. Race number three. Down River Race. The place... Arkansas River, Alaska, or from Irving, California to Savannah, Georgia. Is that Arkansas? Yes, Arkansas River. The distance, what is the distance of the race? Or Yes. Twenty five point seven. Twenty five point seven. Excellent. The winning times. Two hours. Two hours. Okay. In just two hours. Yes. Okay, and the race number four, Edie Tarot Sled Dog Race. The place? In Alaska. Okay. The distance? The distance? 1,150. 50. 1,150 1, miles or 1,850 kilometers. The winning times? 9 to 12 days. Okay, night, 12 days, yes. Okay. Este era the last exercise of section five. And now we're going to continue with the, well, questions about this part or this exercise. No. No question. Okay. The vocabulary, preguntas que hayan aparecido en la lectura. No. Okay, remember no that we, we are here on the reading. No questions? Okay. If we have section, uh, the end of section five, it's here. And then we have the final exam. 
We have uh, a listening part that we already done. Oh, we already did this part. Do you have questions about this exercise? The audio is um, giving a description of the four places that we have here. So do you have any comment about this exercise? It was easy. No comments. No? Okay. No, no opinion. Let's continue. Okay. We have a conversation. Okay, complete with some or any. Okay, esto lo hemos estado practicando bastante, so you can do it. The store doesn't have any fresh salad. Well, we have lots of tomatoes. Let's make okay, any or some. Some. Okay. Why? They say, well, we have lots of tomatoes. Let's make some. ¿Por qué vamos a poner some y no vamos a poner any? Aquí en este, en este ejemplo, en este exercise. Porque es positive. It's a positive statement. Okay, correct. What else? Está en plural form. Mire, tenemos tomatoes. It's a plural form. Entonces dijimos que son, lo íbamos a utilizar. Así como mencionaba el compañero. Eh, it's a positive statement. So we are going to use it with positive statements. But also tomatoes está en plural. Que okay, remember some no matter if they are countable or non-countable, okay? If you have more than one, so it's, it's okay, no problem. Okay, you can go to the supermarket and, and, and buy uh, only one tomato, okay? But in this case, tomatoes, como está en plural, Okay, we are going to use some, but no matter. You can use uh, some with countable or non-countable, pero que estén en plural form, en forma plural. Okay, then, okay, do we have any or some lemon? Any. Okay, any. Primero, porque es una question, es una pregunta. Y segundo, ok. Mm. Está en singular. Ok, it's countable, pero está en singular. Ok, next. No. We need to buy mm -hmm. some. Yes, we need to buy any lemon. Some. We need to buy oh. some 
Primero porque es una sentence, una affirmative sentence. Y luego porque estamos hablando de los lemons. Y como sabemos que en las preguntas, si estamos utilizando eh, plural, que necesitamos eh, indicarlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, we have lemons and we need to buy a lemon. Okay, some lemons. Okay, we, we don't need only one. We need more than one. Y siempre iría relacionado con lemons. Okay, Amanda, we need any or some letters. A ver, se supone que ya hicieron esta parte. Some. Some. Porque no es una pregunta, no es una oración negativa. Ok, entonces, we need uh, some letters to. Oh, I don't want some any or some any 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 i don't want any letters i hate letters okay este como es una un negative statement entonces ahí eh, sí vamos a, a, a utilizar any then we have the le, then let's get any or some 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 olives some. olives correct porque está en plural okay we need some letters too oh i don't want any letters, I hate letters. Okay. Then let's get some, dijimos aquí porque es plural, some olives. Okay. And the last two, Adam, uh, no, I don't want any or some. Any. Any, porque está en negativo. I don't want any olives in my fresh salad. And the last part, but let's put... Mm -hmm, some or any. Some. Okay. Let's put some cucumber in it. Let's check. Okay, yes. Okay, do we have volunteers to practice, to read the conversation? Well, the different conversations. Tenemos más de uno. No? No volunteers. Democráticamente. Ok, Elwin. Y necesitamos a alguien más. With Elwin. We need one more. One more volunteer. Okay, thank you, Alexis. Okay, Alexis and Edwin. Okay, you will have this conversation. Okay, let's see. The first 
four. Okay, vamos a leer acá. Who beginning? Uh, you, you can start. Adam. Yes. Um, no, comienza Amanda. Okay. Okay. Uh, the store doesn't have any fresh salad. Well, we have lots of tomatoes. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any lemon? No. No. We need to buy some. We need some lettuce too. Oh, oh, I don't want any let lettuce. I hate lettuce. Then let's get some olives. No, I don't want any olives in my fresh salad. But let's put some cucumber in it. Cucumber sounds good. Okay, thank you. Okay, now questions. Letters. 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 Let us say it's como, como let us get let's get tenemos get pero el let us es como suena otra cosa también yes ¿Dónde? let us a dónde está en cuál oración let let us la ah lettuce esta lechuga lettuce mm -hmm. yes lettuce Yes, this is the vegetable, the lettuce. Okay, un poco común escucharlo así, porque si yo digo letters es como eh, let us go. Mm, let's, let, let's, let's, uh -huh. let's go. Yes. Pero aquí la escritura, ¿verdad? Letters. Sí, correcto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, the next, choose the correct adverb of frequency. Aquí también estuvimos repasando bastante los adverbs of frequency. Y dice la number one. Never a... Uh, I play soccer on weekends. Okay, is that correct or incorrect? What do you think? Incorrect. Incorrect. Or correct. Never I play soccer on weekends. Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay, ¿a dónde es el lugar del frequency adverb? Antes del verbo. Ah, antes del verbo, correcto. Ah, sería I never play soccer. Okay, ah, uh, I never play soccer. Okay, yes. Okay, number two. Mm -hmm. they, they usually study English at night. Correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct. Okay. Sometimes she feels very tired. She correct or she in... It's incorrect. It's correct or incorrect? Correct. Sometimes she feels very tired. Ok. 
Okay, dicen por ahí, correct. Number four. He often call her in the morning. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. And number five, you listen to me hardly ever. Correct. Incorrect. Correct or incorrect? Porque una dijo correct y la otra dijo incorrect. You listen to me hardly ever. Correct. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever is el frequency adverb. Y dijimos que tiene que ir antes del verb. O sea que tendría que ir aquí. Que you nos quedaría hardly ever listen to me. Yes. No los oigo muy convencidos. Okay. Questions about this part? No question. No. Eh, tal vez puede poner la primera, el primer ejemplo. En, ¿Es en ese que dice, ajá, eh, también puede ser, I never play soccer on weekends. Yes. Las que están incorrectas las podemos ir corrigiendo. Por ejemplo, esta dijimos que era incorrecta y cabal, así como usted dice, ¿verdad? I never. Okay, okay. Primero sujeto o nuestro frequency adverb para ir en medio entre el uh -huh. subject y el verb. Antes de I no. never play soccer on weekends. Ok, thanks. Ok. Y esa que igual como el Harley Ever estaba al, al, al final, lo vamos a pasar before the verb. You hardly ever listen. Ok. Ok. Okay, this said choose the correct adverb of frequency. I say I come with a certain Choose the correct meaning of double H question words. Okay. Who eso lo hemos estado repasando también, verdad, los significados y todo eso. Who lo vamos a usar por time, place, people, choice, think, or object? People. People. Okay, who? People. Where? Place. 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 Okay. Time. When? Time which choice which one choice and what thing mm -hmm. think object. Okay. Except. 
Y no nos habían quedado ejemplos pendientes hechos por ustedes. Homework, no homework. Okay, so let's do the next. Use the correct use of can or can't. Okay. Um, we have the example. I'm. Oh, I am very hungry. Okay. I eat everything right now. Sería can or can't. Can. I can, can eat. I... Mm -hmm, correct. I can eat everything right now. Okay. Number two, Ashira can or can't run very fast. Can, can, can. Okay, Maria can't or can. Yeah. Can. 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 You help me? Can't. I can't. Correct. I can't do my homework. It's too difficult. Okay. And a baby drive can't. a car. Can't. Can't. can't yes can't drive a car okay i a post for hockey Okay. Do you live? Mm -hmm. Fill in the blocks. No lo habíamos hecho esto. Okay, complete questions. Complete questions. Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? Okay, next. No? No, I don't. No, I don't. I live in the house. Okay. No, I don't. I live in a house. Okay. Three. Nina. Does it have a yard? Does it have? Okay. Does it have a yard? Chris. Yes, yes, it does. Does. Okay, that uh, sounds nice. Uh huh. Do you? Complete. Um, do you, do you live alone? Do you live alone? Okay. 
Do you live alone? No, I no don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. I live with my family. No, I don't. Correct. I live with my family. That sounds nice. Mm -hmm. Next. Um, just or oh, something like me. Hey, ask. She. Uh, do you do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, correct. Do you have? Okay. And the last one. Yes, I. Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Okay. Next. Really? Really? Um, that's your house. Uh, uh, pardon. Does mm -hmm. your house uh, have many bedrooms? Okay, correct. Does your house have many bedrooms? Okay. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. It has four. It has four. Okay. Aquí tiene que tener cuidado que si aparece un signo de puntuación que me está dividiendo las palabras, o sea, que me dice las oraciones, que esa ya no es parte de las que ya llevaba. Okay, que no te, eh. Entonces, ahí ya, si, ya, ya no tiene nada que ver con respecto, o ya no tiene ningún efecto, por decirlo así, Si en la primera oración yo escuché eh, o ya puse mi auxiliary. Entonces yo, eh, si tiene un punto, sé que en el siguiente voy a eh, tener que hacer alguna modificación o, o utilizar alguna auxiliar porque ya es una nueva oración. Pero en este caso siempre se está refiriendo al, al mismo objeto. Okay, solo tiene que tomarlo en cuenta y tener cuidado. Okay, next. Linda. Yes. Do you have do you have your own bedroom? Do you have your own bedroom? Okay. Yes. Yes, I do. I am really lucky. Yes, I do. I am really lucky. I am really lucky. Okay. Okay, it's in it. Okay. So that's the end of the the mid the final exam. That's the last part of the final exam. Okay. Do do you have any questions about the exam? The exercises. Cualquier any of the exercises, cualquiera de los ejercicios del final, the final exam. Mm -hmm. No questions. No. No question. Okay.
Wait, que no carga. Okay, then we have um, the reading we already did. Ya clasificamos también, ¿verdad? Esta parte. Yes. So, do you have questions about section five? Si no, in the last uh, minutes, we are going to practice uh, the uses of can in sentences, okay? In sentences to practice this part. Mm -hmm. So do you want to give me examples of sentences using can or can't? Mm -hmm. No, no examples. Give me examples, please. Using can or can't. Ahí tenemos algunos, but tell me your own examples. Eh, ¿Se recuerdan que explicábamos del can que tiene varias funciones? Una de ellas era que podía actuar como un auxiliary verb. Dijimos la posición en la que debía encontrarse en la oración. ¿Y qué nos íbamos a enfocar más para utilizarlo? De hablar de abilities. abilities. Things you can do and things you cannot do. Okay, so give me examples. No quieren hablar al menos escritos. Type. I can dance. Okay, I can dance. Traten de agregarle complementos. Um, frequency adverbs. Todo lo que hemos visto eh, hasta ahorita. I can Explain an example. Okay. I can't explain. I can't explain. Okay. Another example. Liliana, Jasmine. I can play soccer. I can play soccer. Agreguemos complemento. I can't um oh, se me olvidó. Play guitar. I can play the guitar. Okay. Yes. You can eat all you can eat. <laughs> Today is the all you can eat party. <laughs> okay. Pero en una oración completa, yo quiero ir o me gusta. Yes. No. 
Y ahora en questions, utilizando siempre can. Questions. Preguntas. O sea, que me den un ejemplo de una pregunta utilizando can. I can't, I can't speak Chinese. Ok, esa es oración. Pero como ahorita estoy pidiendo questions, preguntas. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Ok, can you hear me? Yes. What else? Can you cook uh, Mexican food? Can you cook Mexican food? Okay. What else? Tell me five more. Cinco más, five more. Ejemplos de preguntas utilizando can. Can my nephew play the violin in the church? Okay. Can we get together soon? Can we get together? Okay. Can we get together? Okay, can my nephew play the violin in church? Okay. Yes, Winfredo. Can my nephew play the violin okay, in church, at the church? I think it's better at the church. Okay, Jasmine, he can... Lima up the tree. Este es Spanglish. He can ah, climb. Creo que sería con B. Climb up that tree. Can I go to the restroom? Okay, yes. Okay, two more. Two more questions using can in an example. Give me examples. Can you cook very well? Can you cook very well? Okay, yes, an important question. Mm -hmm. Faltan todavía. Four more. Give me four more questions. Can you cook dinner? Okay. Three. Three examples. Can... Uh, you cook dinner, okay. No more examples. Can you, can you kitchen? Kitchen is the place. Kitchen is the place in which we cook. So can, you, le faltaría el verbo. Can you clean the kitchen? Can you um, cook? Le faltaría el compl el, the complement. A kitchen. Can you call your sister tomorrow? Can you call? Okay, yes. Can you call your sister tomorrow? Okay, great. Can you kitchen? Uh, I know say yeah. Okay, give me two more examples, please. Que estén correctos. Can I okay. call you tonight? Can I call you tonight? Can I go visit tonight? 
it's better than a call. So can I call you tonight? Okay. No, you con dedicatoria, ¿verdad? Okay. Muy bien. Tomorrow, remember, we have classes. Ya vamos a hacer otro tipo de ejercicios, ya que terminamos los de la plataforma y hemos terminado también el material eh, del manual. So we are going to make a different exercise tomorrow. Remember, you have to connect because you need the time for get your diploma, okay? So no, don't miss the class tomorrow until Thursday, okay? Y, eh, y de igual manera, we finish on Thursday, but on Monday, next Monday, you're going to start the new, the new level, okay? So, you will not have vacations only Friday. Okay, but see you tomorrow to practice to, to, to get more practice. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, bye bye. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you bye. next time. Bye bye. Get rest. Thank you.